Welcome back to Drinking Slogans. Today we're playing Lake. It's a lake, and we're gonna go there, and I think we're delivering mail in 1986. I think that's the idea. Fuck, I was hoping I could boost the music. Well, let's... It's cute. <laughs> oh, it's like a rock skip. Very cute. Loving the detail of the loading screen. <laughs> I'm into it so far. <laughs> Oh, we have a nice place. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. I'm glad we made the deadline. Oh no, I'm working too hard. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, oh, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right. Awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. This is kind of trippy because, like, I I don't know how to explain it, but it's not the decor is like. Thanks there so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. There, but Mr. Coleman, please just call me Frank. We're colleagues it. now, after all. Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Wait, Your dad helped me dozens of times labor. whenever I was in a bit of pickle. Day? Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? Deliver some and mail show me the beautiful ropes? little lake town. Sure. <laughs> All right then. Get ready to roll. Okay, whatever. I'm looking too much into this. We're here to relax and deliver mail at the beautiful lake town. Look how pretty! Yeah! Summer vacay at a lake. Grabbing the mail truck at the lake. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. <laughs> Okay, sir, what's the plan? Are we gonna get tired Delivering of mail is lake? like a walk in the park with mailboxes. <laughs> Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. <gasps> Sounds easy enough. How could I fuck it up? <laughs> Wee! Can I jump? No. She likes her long sweaters. Whoa. Okay, don't, don't do that. The sensitivity might be... Oh, look. Really not busted ghosts. What is that like? Ghost ghost yielders? <laughs> Walk to the mailbox. Deliver mail. Oh, 
Does this mean it Just wants take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. Okay. So we got some... Oh, it's Reveza. Cola! Also fears her, too. <laughs> um... Tires? Now isn't the time to leave Providence Oaks. Don't walk too far. I'll get scolded. You know what I really like about watching baseball? What, buddy? Not missing the first pitch. Okay. okay. Okay, you said take your time, but I guess you didn't really mean it. Nothing too difficult, right? No, I think I should easy. be able to face the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? I'm really yeah. good at this game. <laughs> I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Should oh. you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. Don't it's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Complicated. I don't know. <laughs> I just think it nails me. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. I need to turn the sensitivity down because. <laughs> like, I'm giving myself whiplash. Where do I? Okay. Uh, I need that. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm giving myself whiplash. I, <laughs> I'm sure I'm giving you whiplash with this. It still seems... Okay, I'll try to rein it in a little bit. Gentle. We're here to just fucking chill out and have a good time, so... Alright. I'll leave it on the doorstep. Why would I... That's her power walk? Can I ride the bike? Well, it's really pretty. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, yes. Well, it Invest depends on what Apple. you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. There's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Oh. Wait, so this is my house? I do really like this is very pretty. It's cozy. This gives me a very specific feeling. Um, like the sun shining through the trees and bright colors and sort of suburban bliss. That was my parents' house. Weiss residence, Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. They're on vacation, too. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, oh I just, I'm like house-sitting for them. The freezer's them. stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Blueberry pie? Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for Ad at 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. Great, Steve. Thanks so much for that ominous message. Right as I'm about to start my vacation. 
Well, I'm still working, by the way. This is like a working vacation. Good morning, vacation. Meredith. Oh, Ready for God. your first day? Yeah. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. What a cute I already filled up the mailbag in the truck. Jacket so she has. you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. <laughs> I have what's called directional insanity. I mean, I think that's from the good place, right? Chidi has that. Uh, yeah, directional insanity. That's what I call it. <laughs> the thing is, I my spatial awareness is generally pretty good, but when it gets too macro, I do not know which direction I'm fucking facing. Wait, so... So we have to deliver these. Am I... Okay. We aren't there yet. You mean, oh, cabin door. Oh God. <laughs> I get to start. Oh, whoa. All right, let's see. So we need to go. We need, oh, okay. Oh, so we can like plan a little route here. Oh, how cool. So first of all, we need to go here, right? Place waypoint. Boop. All right. So now this is a map. Oh, I should have looked before I just. Really <laughs> cool. Oh. We got a parcel. Shit, this is it, right? Wait, can I... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, do you have to poison it? Hold on, what do I need to do? This is the general store. What? Letters. Wait, so which, what, which package is this? That's a so general store. So is that one Bear Creek, I guess? Is this that's Main Street. First Street. Second Street. Lake Street. Five hundred Main Street. One oh three. So that's probably 102. No, wait. That's 102. That's 200. That's 300. That's one bear creek. Wait, so. Wait. So do, do I not have a package to deliver here? I just have the option of, of going here? Oh, we better power walk. Oops. Left the package in the Ugh. truck. Okay, something... Main Street. Alright, I'm already fucking this up. How am I so confused already? Three throw package... Oh, two of six. Okay. I can be such a like blanket idiot sometimes, but it's okay. Because we'll get there in the end. We figured it out. This is a cozy package delivering game. It's really fine. Hi. <laughs> you seem can I help awesome. you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college twenty two years ago. 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. Oh. So now you're back, huh? 
I know what it's like. Nancy, you're fantastic. Uh... You do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been well, raining a lot lately. Nancy, I'm just here for a couple weeks, but... Can I talk to you more? People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. Hmm. Can I buy anything? 16 no cent apples! <laughs> Kool-Aid Man is so sad. Fruit Twinkles. <laughs> Pop song. Uh, <laughs> big Dings. Oh, this is awesome. Popcorn later. <laughs> Needs. Try me, try. Try tangy crunchy candy. Cute. I like the music in here. Suntan room. Everybody is suntanning today. Well, I guess it is summertime, huh? Okay, um, so next one is just down. The well, I've got the letters, right? So maybe we just walk? Cause it's nice. Cause it's nice out. Oh, that's actually it takes her forever to walk anywhere. <laughs> Maybe we don't do that. <sighs> the lighting. I really like the lighting. It makes me feel good. Please don't hit anybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, we're gonna go here next, 103 Main Street, and then we just have one over there, so we'll probably go over there here first. Do you know in, like, all the random places? Also, can I park? Where should I park? Should I, like, lock someone in? Or just do a parallel park on the street? Alright. Oh, this is relaxing. It is. This is nice. Holy shit. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Hmm. This is a very picturesque little town. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if I can go in the bar. Can I only go in places if I... Better use the crosswalk. Oh, what's going on with the textures there? The pavement's melting. Power walk. Power walk, Meredith. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we gotta go down this way. Oh, this is cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> Obey the traffic laws. Because that sounds fun to me. <laughs> this is so pretty. I mean, I don't know if there's like a mystery to uncover or anything, or like. Cool. Can we go down here, or can we only go down here if we like have somewhere to deliver 
delivered packages to. This is Mackie's. That looks fun. Look at this place. It's really pretty. Wait. Oh, hold on. I saw a fishing icon. Does that mean if this game has a mini fishing game, a fishing mini game, either way. <laughs> oh, Meredith, you have got to power walk faster than this. Please. Come on. Meredith, I just want to play a fishing mini game. That's all I want. Bait and tackle? Oh, I can't go there until I have a package, huh? Well, this kind of sucks, because it's like... I... I guess I'm at work. I guess. Steal a boat. Meredith. <laughs> Her power walking does leave something to be desired. This is kind of fulfilling a fantasy of mine, though, of, like, driving a mail truck around. <clears throat> One time I went to the Evergreen State Fair in Washington. I think we were, like, Moe's Diner. We were, oh, this is where the package is going. And there is like, Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Where the fuck is Stan? <laughs> God. Is there truck damage? Um, but anyway, yeah. My my dear friend and I went to the Evergreen State Fair and saw a hypnotist. I didn't bring the package. Right. I'm too busy talking about the hypnotist at the fair. So there was this hypnotist at the fair. <laughs> and <laughs> he hypnotized somebody. And they were like, well, they hypnotized like a, a bunch of people, right? And it says on the map, I'm such a fucking idiot. Uh, a whole line of people and they were like, what? You're driving your dream car. And then they went on the line and were like, what car are you driving? And someone was like, Corvette. And the next person was like, the Batmobile. And Meredith was? This one As guy. I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. Oscars. My, oh For my. Way more boring a few story. lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But my yeah, gosh. If by lines you, you mean cocaine. Right? <laughs> I'm definitely doing cocaine. I'm a computer programmer in the 80s who is a workaholic. Okay, just really quick. Uh, yeah, so like w one person was like a Corvette, one person was like a ba the Batmobile, and then this one guy was like leaned back, like riding the fucking whip, and he was, he said, a US mail truck. <laughs> and I don't know if he was putting the hypnotist on, but that is the most amazing response that I think about that every day. Long time no see, Maureen. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that, Is that now. Is saying racist? It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. It is. Now come it's here. Tell me everything. From, like, making fun of Asian immigrants in, like, the 50s. I don't know. I don't know where that comes from. Marine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One. One quick drink, then. Of coffee, you're right? Busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. Coffee? News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I won't eat. I Maureen, will not I have to drive no the mail truck. <laughs> it's gotta be coffee. It's like I'm 17 again, Marine. <laughs> coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up and one piece of blueberry pie if i remember correctly you had one almost every afternoon after school at one point yeah why not let's let's have 
a piece oh, of pie with Maureen. You know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry We're getting pie. getting back to our roots. <laughs> and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley? Oh, my God. Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> uh, maybe you should check that out? Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh. That poor kid is like a disaster magnet. Ashley I'm sounds sorry, like Meredith. a 40-year-old man. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Well, that was really exciting. If we don't get any pie... Like, there's no one even here. Maybe there's a... No, it's probably... That's probably Maureen and Ashley. No one's here. Why are you burning up the kitchen, Ashley? Ooh, hang on. So now we need to go all the way down to Lake Road. Okay, we need to Lake Road. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, there's boats out on the lake. Well. <laughs> Fuck yeah, how, how fast can we get this thing going? Floor it, Meredith. Actually enjoying this. Same. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you do. <laughs> ah, this is mighty hey. Ambrose River. Whoa, whoa. Okay, pay attention. double parking. I think it'll probably be a cow! Kitty cats! <gasps> if, please let me pet the kitty cats. Oh! Wait, where's the package? Game! Let me pet the cats! cuddly guy I see like seven big cuddly guys here that you don't seem to care about Meredith oh look Genevieve <laughs> a new mailman Genevieve. hello there what's your name then meow. 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 hi Genevieve. Miss Jenkins right <laughs> I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. It's Meredith. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me then. <laughs> you do remember me, don't you? Uh... Yeah. 
how could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? It's not like a crime Genevieve at all. Here but if they're inbreeding, Thomas that's a problem. Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Mm -hmm. Yes. Here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. <sighs> That's what he says. That's probably what you said I'm to poor here. Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, right. Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. I'm super salty about the fact that I can't pet the cats. Super salty about it. You guys are amazing. I love all of you. And I really wish that I could pet you. Be fruitful and multiply, I guess. <laughs> So I guess not everybody is super friendly. In a few days, I won't even need that map. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? The goose? <laughs> yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PL than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. <gasps> There's radio? It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Thank you, Okay. Lori. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Alright, she seems young. Not a lot of interest. But radio. Yeah. Yes, radio. This is cool. I don't know, this is kind of like a semi walking simulator, but. Uh, oh, right, Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. I have the opinion that that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to have a, a fun little time with not too much into it. Just like an interactive video game, you know? An There's interactive a movie. Face. Like Final Fantasy 16 or. 
<laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Um. Yes. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. <laughs> Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Oh, what the? What's wrong? That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. <laughs> um. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Okay. Doesn't want to talk about it. Austin Powers our way out of here. Okay, this song is amazing. <laughs> She's shooting down that narrow bridge. It's funny, it's like both really fast and really slow at the same time. <laughs> Whoa! I feel like this is... A little Shania. Cheryl Crow or something. Okay, let's change it. Let's see what else there is. Oh, we... It's just the one channel. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, I'm way faster than everybody else. Scoozy, can I honk? Beep beep. Oh, wait, no, I need Main Street. Main Street. Main Street. Choo! Fucking fast and furious. Oh, it's because I <laughs> put the toggle there. How do I take this? But I am into the putzing mail truck on the loading screen. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Yeah, it's, Hi, it's Mom. actually I'm going really doing great. great. I'm having a it's great so time. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. God, she sure does love her belted sweaters. Oh, so he used to be the post office. Okay, I see that now. Uh... Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Okay, thanks mom for hanging up on me. Mm. Open agenda. Oh, yeah, so I, I just really don't have anything going on right now. <laughs> Watch TV or read a book? Uh, why is, why does this feel like a really intense decision? Well, if I watch TV, I could find something maybe going on in the local shit. If I read a book, it's just going to be like a random book. I'm going to watch TV. Hmm, let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> I regret this immediately. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Really cool. Love it. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to leave it here tonight. <laughs> Next time. Another day. Lots more mail to deliver. Okay, Meredith. Fucking shadow DJing. Alright. I hope you enjoyed. Relax with me next time for more mail. Okay, bye!